During my Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse review, I mentioned offhand that I was off to become a lolloping chocolate-filled critic, and a long-time viewer contacted me to ask me to review them. However, having looked at my bin bag, and having pondered if reviewing every chocolate I ate meant treating quality streets and celebrations as one chocolate, or reviewing each of these individually, in which case I wouldn't have any time to actually talk about films. So, in the spirit of compromise and a realisation that I actually have no idea how to review chocolates as quantity over quality normally winds me up no end, I decided to review the top 5 chocolates I inhaled between Christmas and the New Year. Gillian. Gillian? Gillian? Wasn't that character in Star Trek? Gillian chocolate seashells. Praline with different fillings, these are usually a bit sickly for me. But, as punishment for showing my nephew the proper version of Watership Down as a reward after he survived that ghastly watered down BBC Netflix version, I wasn't supposed to be having any at all. Little pest still slept through the night. The purple one, Quality Street. Milk chocolate filled with hazelnut and caramel. I've got something of a fondness for chocolate with nuts. It helps me think that this is doing some good for me, as opposed to being almost completely bad. Hell, it's so good it even got spun off into its own thing for a while. I will also accept the toffee ones, but I always worry they'll pull my teeth out as opposed to just wearing them down over time. Remember to brush twice a day, kids! Maltesers. Maltesers consist of a spheroid malted milk centre surrounded by milk chocolate. And since it's claimed that the Maltesers honeycomb centre is one seventh as fattening as ordinary chocolate centres, I happily ploughed my way through a box or three in my quest to master the ability to remove the chocolate shell without damaging the honeycomb and then mastering that skill. But, if only there was a way to make them better. Rum Cos. Imagine a Malteser. Now, instead of being simply a chocolate covered honeycomb, place a shot of rum in the middle of it. Sadly, I was, despite not being much of a spirits person, forced to eat several of them as they were hanging from the Christmas tree and I was worried my nephew would steal the lot. They were crisp, smooth, and didn't seem to have had much of an impact on my blood alcohol level. Ferrero Rocher. Thanks to an old ad campaign here in the UK, everyone thinks that these are served at ambassadorial receptions, which I can assure you they are not. It's overpriced champagne and most ignored bowl food as far as the eye can see. But these individually wrapped chocolates, which have been my favourite since I was 10, featuring a whole roasted hazelnut, but since of 2017 only part of a hazelnut has been used, encased in a thin wafer shell filled with hazelnut chocolate and covered in mint chocolate and chopped hazelnuts, is to me absolute perfection. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a gym membership that I'm not going to use to purchase. Alright guys, so what did you think of this? Is there anything else you would like me to review? Um, what was your favourite chocolate that you ate over Christmas and New Year's? Um, if you like this video, and bear in mind I do normally talk about films, uh, please like, share and subscribe, and I will see you next time.